have way bloody too many. One that comes to mind straight away is Mr. We, we will see later on today. But this one caught my eye. It's kind of an intriguing one to open up with, right? First series of the day, Ulysses versus Tunison. Tunison being picked up by Fox alongside Vortex. I think a lot more people had eyeballs on the Spaniard than Vortex making it across. Uh, Tunison, mm. though, is most definitely no pushover. He was almost able to beat his teammate in that first qualifier. It looks like they're going to start on Watering Hole. Run me through the drafts a little here, because, you know, is, is there anything that's standing out to you that's a little bit of surprising, a little bit shocking here? I mean, the fact that we got, what, three... <laughs> actually, all four Norse have been picked. Uh, right. And the Atlanteans, Poseidon, Gaia. Gaia's been picked a lot. Um, Ra's been working their way up, too. Um, no Isis. It, yeah, no Isis at all in here. We have Seth, though, which Seth's kind of like a backbone pick for a lot of people. And then uh, Hades and Zeus for Lysis. Actually, I just... Uh, Lysis has uh, Odin... Uh, no, he has Poseidon, Zeus, and uh, Hades. So he's got all the Greeks. So he's obviously pretty happy with that, I guess. <laughs> With a name like Ulysses, right? He's got to fill the role. He's uh, got the entire Greek pantheon at his disposal. I, f I reckon Tunison would have been happy to take the entire Atlantean pantheon if Oros yep. wasn't uh, banned out, right? So a little bit on each right. side there. But yeah, surprised that Ra's making an appearance over Isis. But then again, Ra has been creeping up in popularity. He has oh, yeah. that interesting Absolutely. build where you just go for what can only be described as railgun priests. Um, pretty effective to scale into. But you know, opening up, this is going to be a fun one. A Norse mirror. Freer to kick off as well is pretty ballsy. I feel like this is the type of pick that's a little bit more situational. You can't just throw it out anywhere. And I'm really surprised it wasn't saved for Alfheim. I'm surprised at how fast all the uh, how fast all the uh, Norse were picked here. I mean, Freer is I think I think he's the least picked out of all the uh, Norse or among the top players, but still, you know, a top top three pick there for. Uh, Elise, so I mean that just shows how dominant Norse are, I guess, right now, at least between these two players and their picks. Well, we're gonna find out which Norse god is better. It's time to kick off with the first day of the main event. Genesis Retold starts now. Game number one on your screen in a matter of seconds, I would hope so. <laughs> and we hop in in the red from Keen Gaming. We've got Ulysses manning up with Freya. And in the bottom left, we have Fox Tunison give you playing as my favorite Norse, Loki. I knew you were a mischievous person. This is a <laughs> fun one, though. I mean, Watering Hole, oh, yeah. this type of map, I feel like it has a, a deceptive like layering to it between being the defender and being the attacker, right? Like, it's not as open as some maps like Ghost Lakes, for example, where I think maybe Loki could do a little bit better. So I mm -hmm. do kind of see where Ulysses is coming with a Freya pick. But, yeah, so you can you can be defensive, but like again on this map, if you actually look at the mini map, there's so much hunt. There's two TCs in the middle. You got extra relics that are in the middle too. So if you hold the middle later on, you're going to be in such a huge economic advantage over your opponent. I think the other big thing to look at here is the gold spawns, right? It's a deceptive map, and that sure you could get your set gold settlement for free, but look at where all these golds are, right? It's not oh, yeah. that easy to, to defend these. The other cool thing about this map is usually there's only two or three entrances into your side of the map total. So what you can do, even though you can't defend the wall, like say on the bottom right of the map there where the little river opens up, you can put a wall there just to give yourself an early warning sign that, hey, you know, they're coming with raiding cav or whatnot across the map and you can buy you a few seconds to prepare yourself and you'll get caught off guard. Yeah, I think the most typical one we've seen is right there with the deer is, right? You wall the center to force a kind of yeah, wider wraparound. Yep. Yeah, a value play, of course. And on top of it, just so much deer there already. It's an area you naturally want to play into in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, I think that Loki is probably going to be playing. I, 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 they might both go double Great Hall into Raiding Cab. It's possible. I've got no to the Sphinx. That's a uh, good relic. Uh, oh, on a side. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not too bad. Yeah, <laughs> there's better ones. And yeah, that, speed. Okay. okay. Yeah, Kifara is pretty decent, <laughs> especially considering like usually Norse tend to play a little bit more wide, I want to say, on the map than some of the other sieves, such as the Egyptians, mm -hmm. right? So there is some value here. And of course, both of them will be playing to it quickly with the hearses, as would be anticipated here. Um, opening wise, I wonder if there's anything Freya can do to be somewhat aggressive. This is always the awkward thing, right? Like when you think of the god powers for Freya, they don't lean themselves to this idea of attacking. Uh, so, there obviously, you know, Freddy's literal description is, you know, defensive and technology based. Yeah. So he's going to be wanting to sit back for a little bit. But I, I've seen uh, Freddy be very, very offensive. It's just, I guess, it depends on the player that's picked them and how, what their strategies are for it. 
Yeah, like the most most of the time, I've just seen Freya players just accept. I think we maybe had one game where they played the raiding cavalry you're talking about, and that gave yep. them a level of tempo. But mm -hmm. especially against something like Loki, usually when it's Loki or four in particular, you just know you're going to have to react more than be proactive. Yep, and that's the one thing though. I mean, here's the other thing as well. I mean, Loki. <laughs> Obviously, Fair wants to go to the late, you know, the later and later game, but Loki's got a great late game too. So, like, you'd be kind of backing yourself into a corner. But I guess we'll see. I mean, it really depends on the players themselves and, um, you know, who's going to dominate the middle and, and who gets the most gold mines later on, I guess. Tech Ops on the way. So, hmm. How do we see this proceeding? With Freya coming in, I mean, there is going to be that kind of sustainability behind it, right? Like, Freya's usually good. Also, by the way, can, whoever decided we should have Freya with Freya? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would love this Yeah, we're having, like, because um, obviously you have the, the player player. That's another fun one, right? Whoever's going to be casting his games, look forward to that. So, opening-wise, though, we are going to have the Valkyrie coming out. And, of course, this gives you this lean into the Cavalry style, but it's also sustainability, exactly. which is going to be important yep. against Loki's Healing Springs. Having mobile healing is good in any RTS, so there's nothing wrong with having the Valkyrie out. Mm -hmm. Bloody annoying to try to bring down. You do at least have the Hearses, and, of course, we are going to have the Troll on the other side. So, I imagine the approach you want to kind of take here is maybe smuggle on the sides, wait for... Tunison to come out a little bit and then see if you can spring something with a Valkyrie. Cool thing here as well, of course, you do have that forest fire, so you can always look for that mm -hmm. kind of baited moment on the tree lines. So Tunison didn't go for like double haul, uh, double haul or anything, so he's not going to be just spamming out raiding cav. So it's going to make for a more interesting game, I think. So I'm pretty happy about that. Means he's going to have to, weirdly enough, maybe take a more defensive role. Like typically, if the other player has cavalry, you have to react to them first. Yeah. And we already have. Is Elise going and... double haul or anything? I, I don't know if I caught that or not. Uh, no, he's, he's, no, he's barracks as well. Uh, okay, barracks, wow. yeah. So we're going to have a pretty static game. This is 100% going to heroic or mythic age, this game, without a <laughs> doubt. No, no, with, I can tell already. Without a doubt, it is. Yeah, it's just kind of you show up your Valkyrie, you're like, oh, okay, you're burning infantry too. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll just, I'll go back and build a cell. Second and... TC, yep, <laughs> yep, yep, exactly. So you can just tell when certain things happen, when they build certain things, it's kind of like well, I was being more quiet at the start because you don't know what a player is. He actually is on double... Uh, Paul now, but I don't know if that means he's going to continue. Um, obviously, Loki, one of my favorite things about Loki, for those that don't know, uh, his very unique ability is that while he's fighting with his infantry-based units, they, uh, or human-based units, I'm sorry, they can just summon random uh, myth units from the ether, right? It's up to any age that he's in. And the really cool thing uh, is you can summon them from go uh, minor gods you, you didn't even pick or ones you don't even have as Loki. So, like, when you're in the mythic age as Loki, you can actually summon in that... Uh, very special myth unit from uh, uh, from Freyr, for the Fafnir, the dragon. So even though Loki can physically never build that unit, he can still summon it, and it's so cool. It's such a cool ability, so unique. It's a, it's a spice of RNG. It's kind of reasonable RNG, I think, as well. It's not out mm -hmm. of this world crazy. But I've seen it turn fights. It just kind of springs out and oh, catches you off guard. And I think now with this play into the second settlement, there's an opening here, and is starting to realize it, right? He's played infantry comp, sure, but because your opponent's gone for the greed, you do have this more all-in potent timing available now on Loki. Also really hard to push for their early. Obviously, they didn't go for the uh, the standard. Well, I wouldn't call it standard, but like the more unique thing, uh, which is that stronghold that you can, uh, you can get in the second with the other minor god. Yeah. But he still has the he still has the uh, the pig. He still has Wilbur that he can drop in at any time <laughs> on a TC, the gull and bursty there. And you can't push a TC early if that thing gets dropped down. It's just too powerful. Yeah, the Asgard's even Fortress is, is an easy go-to for this type of style of play as well. Exactly. He went for a second TC. I was yeah, I was surprised as well. But here's the thing. We don't know that that was his plan all along. Maybe like you said earlier, he saw what uh, what Tunison was doing with his, with you know when he came into scout with the Valkyrie. And he's like, okay, I'm going to change it up now. Now I'm going to go for that second TC. We don't know that that was his plan all along. One interesting thing is the pivot that then essentially came from Tunison, right? Like you, you predicted this would be a, a long game. We're going all the way to Heroic, but... Mm -hmm. Now it feels like it could just be a classic all in. The interesting part about that. How do you least, all in? How do you all in fair? You're going to lose so much to. You have to bait the ball, right? And then pull away. I guess, yeah. I guess the awkward thing here, though, is if you check that second base for Ulysses, it's really hard to attack because of that tree line, mm -hmm. right? Because yep, you've got the forest absolutely. fire. If you run in there, you're just going to get baited into your own barbecue. And the other thing is, a lot of these good players, they do use um, the Gullen Bursty. They're not going to just put it on the, as soon as you run in on the outside radius, they're going to they're gonna like, wait till you get really, really close or too far in, put the uh, Gullen Bursty between you and your exit, 
and you're going to take a lot of losses because it's pretty quick right off rip. Uh, obviously, it loses speed over time, but it's it's still pretty nasty. Oh, yeah. It, it kind of reminds me, it's a different style of the Shockwave that you see from Oranos, right? And that combo can be insane. So you have to give it that same level of potency between the knockback in the follow-up with the burn. And you already see that Tunis in his probing doesn't want to go beyond the, the breach point there. That's mm -hmm. where you can find the cutoff here. I'm actually surprised. Um, so, uh, Elise, even though he's playing defensive 2TC, he still has a, a decent military. I mean, it's 45 military population to, to 62, right? That's not horrible, especially when you're on defender's advantage. If he's playing on staying at home, it's not horrible. But by the way, it looks like Tunisin, if I can see that correctly with my glare on my screen, he does have a second TC now. Yes, yeah. he went second settlement in the center, and he's also looking to age up behind this. Oh, he's walling in. This, this is one of the things about this map. While the walls can be your friend in defending, your opponent can also, like, you know, keep you in, and, um, you know, just keep you consolidated to one part of the map. It's going to be interesting. Puts you in prison, essentially, right? <laughs> exactly. Is, <laughs> it's going to be annoying to try and break through. The upside, at least, is there's not many axe throws around here, so you should be able to poke this away before it completes. Yeah. Keeps the opening but it, it does do what he wants. It's drawing him away from his base, which I think is what that's what Tunison wants. Maybe he doesn't even care about the wall. He just wants him to come out, you know, play in the middle of the map. But look at this. At least he's actually has 66 military to 62. So Wait, maybe he bit off more than he could chew here. <laughs> 72 to 62 now. The crazy thing is it's almost like he's roving him in. Yeah, in range of the settlement here. I'm a little bit surprised we haven't seen the healing springs being committed yet. It feels no. like this is the pristine opportunity because you could just defend it. Yeah, put it next to the, to the TC. Exactly. Okay, we're just going to be the rat in the, the hole there. He decides just garrison, so... Yeah, that wasn't seems... on my bingo card, having him push. <laughs> I thought no. it was going to be the other way around, so... I don't know. I think that was kind of shock and awe. Tinnison wasn't quite sure what to think about what the hell just happened either. So yeah. This is, this is worrisome, right? That second settlement is there now for Tinnison, but it came in a lot later. You can already see the difference in economy. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I was really surprised with no healing spring there next to the T. That would have been a perfect opportunity for that. And also, the awkward part is if you fight too close to this settlement, it is embedded in tree lines. The forest mm -hmm. fight is still there. Yep, yep. By the way, uh, it looked like Tunison actually, when we saw that Elise's was actually going up in military pop and all that, uh, Tunison was actually banking food and wood, dur I'm sorry, food and gold during that. That's why his military kind of like stagnated. He wants to go to the uh, heroic age. And as you actually see, he just clicked it. Yeah, he, he actually had it queued up a while ago with the OQ, but like obviously didn't yeah. have resources. So. I wondered if he was just going to give up on it. So it is now on the way. However, I feel like there's a growing risk. This settlement is not going to be safe. A big army is no. walking up here for Ulysses. So, but now looking back on it, I think those walls he was placing was more of like a fake offensive. Yeah, it was. I think it was also like a fake, you know, a fake, uh, you know, you better not come out here type of deal. You know, but it was, it was fake, right? Like he didn't actually have that like 100 plus military pop that he could have had at that point in time. It was just like, you know, maybe I have it, maybe I don't. And uh, Elise is like, okay, well, it's time to find out, I guess. Well, Ray coming in. Oh, look at that the the picture in picture there. Look at that gold getting hit. Token response oh, here, oh, this is much worse fire right fire. This is awkward. The escape isn't going to be clean. Ulysses getting caught in an awkward position. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, the raid on the other side just not hitting the same. So Tunison able to dodge most of the problem. A lot of the workers will get away in the end. Mm -hmm. But now, considering the state of things, the military count, the eco count, the fact that we've got age free coming in is yeah, a big deal hurt. in favor of Tunison. Mm -hmm. Now, at this point, when you when someone goes for an age up a lot faster than somebody else, usually the person that didn't age up should have a much higher military count, villager count, and whatnot. He's got a little bit more, but I don't know if it... Do you think that having heroic age is more important than uh, 10 military and just five villagers? I think it is. I think that age up with the upgrades, you know, heavy units, um, you know, a new god power, flaming weapons is going to be huge here. I mean, that's going to be devastating in a fight. That's the one big deal here, right? It's like, obviously, he wasn't able to scale past 100. That's when you can get immediate value from the flaming weapons. But he has got the battle ball. The numbers are looking healthy. By the time the tech up comes out on the other side, he should have that to buffer him. The only thing I'm worried about here is the impact we could get out of a huge hailstorm, right? Like, this could completely screw over the plan with those flaming weapons. We've seen how yeah. good and obnoxious Freya can be with these god powers to offset this aggressive timing around flaming weapons. Do you think that uh, Tunison should have just pushed the second he got the heroic age? That maybe before obviously this freeze comes in. What do you think? He wasn't in a position, right? Like that's the issue. He was reacting. Mm -hmm. Maybe he sh could have been all in. Maybe he didn't need to. But it's inherently ingrained in you as a pro to try and yep. play defensive when you're attacking, right? It just makes sense. So it, absolutely. But in this case, now now that advantage you had of getting there a little faster, now, even that's gone because now Elise's 
Uh, he's got the pop. He's got the military lead. He is down three villagers though, so I'll give that. Tunison has caught yeah. back up there uh, during it's that also, nice raid that he got. Think about like the long term gold access, right? Like Tunison's still in a really good position here, but you do see he has a strong power spike ahead of him, right? We are gonna have the hell. We are also gonna have the fact that those stone giants are incredibly obnoxious, especially considering how much of the line is melee, right? Like you've got all these cavalry mm -hmm. units that can be baited. And not be able to attack, all you gotta do is layer that giant behind this front line of cavalry. Yep. Is that a gold mine in the peninsula up there in the top middle of the map? Uh on red, the red side, yes. Alicia. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's got one hidden on the right, one hidden on the left. So he has got backup he's, planted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. That's what I was thinking about. But he's posturing. So we have another settlement being set up here. Meanwhile, fort coming out on the other side. So Tunison still not committing those healing springs. I'm I'm getting a little bit confused at this stage. He's gonna look to block this construct. I, I watched a game just like this. I'm not even joking. During the last, during the qualifier, someone had a healing spring. They didn't use it. Like I don't under. Did it, he they forget? ended up quitting the game. Like it was like a 30 minute game or whatever, and they didn't even use. I forgot who played. They didn't use the healing spring, and I was like, "Are you kidding me?" So it, it's it's a double edged sword, right? If you lose the area, you lose they, yeah, control that's of it. Bad. But like, if you lose this area, you lose the game. Yeah, you anyway. lose the game exactly. So I don't understand that. Yeah, I think the risk of rewards there. By the way, do you think we're gonna see a battle bore spam here uh, from Tunis? at some point because i've seen that a lot uh in the heroic age i think it's decent in the right scenario i'm not, not sure if i'd oh. agree it's a situation where you have against stone giants and axe throws here right like you're not going to get the big cc you're looking for especially with cav kind of cutting around you so maybe pre queuing instead... mythic age is funny there's no way he's affording that for like 15 minutes that's that's so funny to me are we gonna get under powers? the stronghold oh and, the and there's there we go and there's the counter activates is that the, the counter oh, wilbur was brought in wait it's coming he in from a long range over. away, though. The stuns as well oh, are controlling. The stone giant can't be accessed. He needs to bring him into that little gap on top of all those because he's got a splash damage with, with the pig. That'd be so Tunison crazy. Tunison is dead. Tunison is oh dead. My like, God. He's look got nothing at left. the military. Oh. He's gone. He should have pushed the flaming weapons when he hit heroic. I know you say he wasn't in position to do it, but he should have. I think that was his best bet. And I'm actually really surprised. I think a lot of players might be right there because from watching ladder and watching the other pros, Rare does not fare well into Loki a lot of the times there and no. just dominated. Dominated. But it's the, that was the incredible. other game, right? Like, you, you have to be tempo controlling. And if you're not, you see this impact. Like, Freya was seen as a defensive god, but if you stockpile the powers, that is a revelation of what you can do with this god in yep. a beat, right? Like, that is the power of the Hailstorm coming in. That is essentially the power of the scalability of their economy. Yep. It makes them so much better as this game goes on. I mean, you got to put some respect on Flair's name. I mean, if you look at the, uh, I don't know if you've seen any of the tier lists from the other pros, they have Flair at like pretty low compared to, the, obviously they're, they're always at the bottom of the Norse pile and then even below uh, other ones. I mean, we just saw right there, Flair did very, very well. Obviously they didn't go for the, uh, you know, the Bastion or whatever, but I, maybe that route was the way to go and it worked really, really well. I think the, you know, it's interesting you mentioned like a lot of people put like Freya towards the, the bottom of the tier list. Mm -hmm. I remember talking to Mister where he, he felt like actually it's, it's potentially the most OP god, but it's the hardest to execute, right? Ah, Which kind of balances it out. So it's, it's not a skill easy. issue. Yeah, just get better, <laughs> right? Just get better, lol. Just get better. I, I think that there is an element of that here, not to like be a downer on Tunison, but he, he lost tempo control of the game. He just essentially sat there and waited to die, it felt like, in that second half. And I mean, Loki is a tempo sieve, right? I don't, you know, it's not that he can't scale into late game, but, you know, compared mm -hmm. to some of these other kings of late games, you know, Ra, Freya that come to mind, you're not going to have a happy camp of time 20 minutes plus. So, but also, maybe, that second okay. TC, that second TC that he, remember he got that, he scouted, saw what he was doing. He's like, okay. Oh, yeah. He, he was confident enough to hold two TCs with nothing, and he did that was, for a long well, time. The, the thing is, that second settlement almost felt like, you know, when uh, a kid doesn't want their toy and they see another kid playing with the toy, right? <laughs> It kind of had that feeling of like, oh, he went second settlement. Well, I've got to go second settlement. So, do you, you think know, the Loki should have stayed on one? And, I think and, you have a better all in timing, right? Because like yeah. he was he was prepping to age up while building the settlement. So like you would I'm, have had the hundred plus military pop, and then you would have had probably a little bit faster heroic for the flaming weapons. Yeah. Maybe this is like an issue in the early days uh, early days of RTS is setting up. It's something that gets refined as time goes on. You can't always look for a backup plan, a way out, right? Unless mm. you get a big enough edge. You've got to play what your strategy is. And I think what happened here is Ulysses was too busy thinking about what he's going to do in, in 10 minutes without thinking about what he's going to do in two, right? Mm -hmm. um, it happens. Like, it, it's, it's something you can see refine over time because there's always that temptation, right? It's very gambly. No one wants to be that guy that goes up to a table and puts all on red, right? Like, <laughs> I mean, it's seven, definitely 50-50, right? Or, no, no, like, red it, seven. That's one in, what, 30 or something like that? 
Yeah, but like, like actually, it's even more risky. Like, let's get more risky. Sometimes when you make that play, you feel like you're putting everything on on sixty nine, right? Great yeah. meme to to like, you know, lose your house and your mortgage on. But by the way, when we say all in with Loki, the one TC all in, I wouldn't really. It's not even that risky because yeah. it's done all the time and it wins. More, you know, at least half the time. It, that's why people do it. It works. The one TC from Loki. It's very very effective. So you know, I guess it comes down to the player's instinct and whatnot. But it looks like. It's DC's crazy as well because he got better. what looked like a really good raid for that trade, mm -hmm. right? Where they both actually went after each other's economy. His should have impacted much more so, right? But yeah. that forest fire screwed everything up for him. It just gave a defensive lapse to fall back on. I, if we look back, I don't remember. Now I'm looking back, I don't remember. I think right when that, that last fight happened, I think he was actually ahead by a few villagers from that raid that he got still. But I guess that push was just perfectly timed, right? With the, the god it, powers It's also like the impact that you get out of these god powers, right? I think it's not extreme to say tempest is a good solution to the flaming weapons right like especially if you haven't got quality and you've just got quantity mm -hmm. because you're just going to die really fast you're going to get kited out you're just it, it's that classic one of um you know <laughs> imagine you're a guy with a giant two-handed axe and you're swinging it around and everyone should be scared of you but you also uh, don't have any ankles you can't walk right it's just like i'm problem. just gonna step back sort of thing i think that's the power you get out of that hailstorm if you see a bad fight, like if that fight has started to go really bad for Ulysses, he could have just walked away and then yeah, exactly. flaming weapons is ruined. Yeah, that's the one so thing. I mean, when some, you know, I think it was the Greeks, they have, uh, uh, you know, the uh, ceasefire and stuff. God powers, like, well, then the frost, obviously, even the Norse have two different frosts. Obviously, Freyr has the, uh, the storm and then the other frost power that some of the other minor gods get. So there are situations where really, really strong god powers like flaming weapons, like bronze, can get countered by like stasis type abilities like against ceasefire or frost and whatnot so you kind of have to either your best bet is to try to bait out the frost or the ceasefire first that way you can use those better offensive uh, god powers uh afterwards otherwise you just got to hang on to them because they're just going to get countered and we just saw right there use flaming weapons one of the best offensive god powers in the game frozen solid doesn't matter can't fight if you can't move so so uh I'm looking at what we got coming up next, and this might be a quick series. It's best of five, so obviously you need to get free <laughs> games, but this is like Zeus isn't like Zeus the best god right now in Anatolia. Um, I've seen a lot of Zeus used in Anatolia and also I forgot what the one water maps the other water maps called the, the uh, kind of weird name. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I've, I've seen Zeus used a lot on that map. As well as I think like any actually the Greeks in general. I don't know what it is. Um use a lot. Uh, and also because the whole shallows thing, it's kind of funny. I know we're going to even have that map in the pool, but I think it's funny that people have been starting to use their villagers in the beginning of the game to literally go and hit fishing ships. And it's one of the wildest things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean yeah. I've come into this in general, right? It's like AOE4, they throw torches, but in the old school yeah. games, we use fists. <laughs> The Greek god, uh, Greek uh, yeah, men as, rather as a, are built differently. As a commentator, <laughs> and like if you have a new person just coming in to check out Age of Mythology, how do you sit there and explain a villager who's taller than the fishing ship hitting it with a butter knife, and then there's supposed to be a villager on the ship driving it? Like it's really hard to defend that, but I love it anyway. I don't care. I, I've got it for you. You just yell out, "He's attacking the small peoples." It's the only way it makes sense. <laughs> well, there's there's hobbits in the boat. There's hobbits. I wouldn't worry. Was about it. hobbits in the boat? That baby's yeah. gonna get sunk. Yeah. Uh, but we're we're seconds away, folks, from game number two. So Ulysses, if you didn't catch it, just had a pretty chill and easy game number one. It's time to find out. I like your choice of words there with chill. That was good. Right, there I we saw go. what you did there. I did. All right. <laughs> Let's, it's time to see if he's foxy and ferocious. It's time to see if Tunison can bite back. Because Kronos, in theory, can be an aggressive party here. But I well, think I, think that, I mean, Kronos is Zeus's dad. So there's, he's got that advantage over him. Got it. So what you're saying is as long as Kronos <laughs> protects his belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the Greek uh, villager doesn't come by to punch him there. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. I mean, I, I would love, I now love this communal idea of Kronos just trying to be on one of those very small boats, you know? Oh, oh no. my, no, it makes sense, right? So you were talking like, how, how do we have these small sense? villages? Oh. No, no, the, the, <laughs> it's, the, it's the baby Prometheans. Oh, okay. Makes more sense then. <laughs> uh, so, actually, I'm thinking deeper in this series as well. We've got some... I don't want to say crazy good maps. There's some decent maps actually for Egypt still remaining. So Tunisian, I do like want to say so. this. If you look at this, uh, Tunisian's obviously you don't count the bands here. 
his first pick was Loki and he lost. That was his first pick, right? And mm-hmm. at least he still has Poseidon and Odin, which were his, what, those are his first two picks, right? That's the way that works. So he's, st- he's yes. like, he still has his, I guess what he would call his best gods in his pocket. That's, that's really good. Yeah. I, I'm thinking as well, like looking at what kind of map picks we've got remaining. As you see, I don't think Ulysses has something that necessarily cracks Alfheim that well. It's probably going to be like a Hades pick, which is kind of okay, but we've seen Hades can flop there against more defensively formatted sieves like Gaia, Ra comes to mm-hmm. mind. So like, I like that. Maybe the one question mark for me for Tunis in a little bit might be Marsh, because I think he's probably going to want like what Ra or Set for Blue Lagoon. But yeah. I've seen, I've actually probably... casted Tunis and play a lot of Gaia, so I'm, I'm pretty confident his Gaia is going to put up a really good fight against Ulysses if he ends up being to pick Gaia at some point, so... We'll see, but at least he's he's a monster just to, with everything that I've seen him play. So, so we're getting ah. confirmation now. So we're forty seconds out from going into this one. So we're going to catch up on the series, but yeah, it, if you play aggressive, it can work because that deconstruct you talked about, and then you have the Promethean follow up. Mm. It works better on maps like Kalauga because you have the full shallow walk, so your melee units can do whatever the hell they want. Mm. But it could get you dominance over one side of the map. I'm not really sure what other approach you could take here as Kronos. I don't like, like I said, I, I, like, and like you said, I think Zeus is really good. Obviously, you have some tricks as Kronos, you do. But I think it comes, if they, if it, okay, let's put it this way. If the game doesn't, if something crazy doesn't happen for Kronos, doesn't like no little cheeky plays or anything, if the game's just standard neck and neck, I think Zeus wins. Well, let's see if Zeus can keep his dominance. It's time for yeah. game number two of this series. I promise things can actually enact a different way. We don't just pick a god and then say it's game <laughs> exactly, over. Exactly. So we're going to have to see if this god can be omnipotent. If daddy can show his son who the big boy is. Because Tunison is whipping out Kronos. And on the other side in the south, in the red, we have Keen Alises playing as the mighty Zeus. Zeus that just feels like the go-to pick. You get this and Anatolia's in there. It almost feels like people just want to go next game. Just that opening power. I think the, the thing that matters most here, right, is it's very unique, actually, the way this is going to play out. Because on one side, what makes Zeus so good is he immediately wins one side of the water off of the bolt, right? Mm-hmm. But on the flip side, Tunison can't bolt a unit, but he can essentially bolt a building. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so it looks like, yeah, the top's getting scouted already. So we know where the Deacon's truck's going to go. <laughs> oh, boy. Does he do? There, there we go. Yeah, I mean, you, you just know. <laughs> He's like, yep, trying to build a new one. Oh, no. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, my building. It's gone. In fairness, though, Tunison, like, wait, this is kind of bait, actually, because... Now, after he sees that, Ulysses might think that he's playing West Side Pond, but if you look on the east, yep. Tunison's setting up his economy there. Yep. That's pretty crafty. And he also scouted the uh, south there, too, so he knows there's no second dock there from Ulysses in the south. Mm-hmm. I think a high-value play here, I'm always kind of a nerd for where do you want to put the oracles, right? Where they're not going to get noticed. I think one that's mm-hmm. kind of underrated when you get these type of spawns is if you look at Ulysses' base, you could actually hide your oracle around the back of his tree line that he's gathering in red space. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because, like, he's not going to look there, right? It's actually pocketed right in the corner on the south side. Yeah, so if we go yeah. down here, boom. You just slap behind that tree there. Yeah, he'll eventually see when he munches the entire tree A villager tree line. might see if, like, it goes by to put a dock up, but, you know. Even then, like, where are you going to be dropping a dock? If you're dropping a dock r- that close that you'd see him, You've basically Trying to hide the docks, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. That's, That's not how Zeus dock. players do this. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Zeus just has the theme tune play, be a man, and then suddenly That's a giant right. bolt hits from the sky. Zeus you know? just doesn't care. Zeus knows that they're uh, they're comfortable like, here. Like you know, your 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 uh, your myth, right? Like pretty much just dressed himself up as animals and banged whoever oh, he wanted. Geez. Zeus okay. doesn't. Zeus, Zeus doesn't oh do God. subtle. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Unless subtle is the name of a princess in Greece. Uh, and like, anyway. Oh my, it's, okay. He actually, oh, yeah, he's going to. Fist out, boys. <laughs> yeah, so, I love the way the donkey's just today. there for it, right? It's like, is that just an intimidation strategy? He's going to kill it, too. He's oh, blocking with the orb. Oh, my God. That is he vile. That's okay, disgusting. You, you know what would have been the most alpha play? <laughs> I don't know if it's <laughs> alpha. If he bolted the oracle. No, <laughs> oh, it's just, I would have bolted the citizen. No, no, no. Because then, then, like, if you bolt the oracle, <laughs> your opponent is like, 
who is this idiot? <laughs> like, he, he just doesn't way, realize. Yeah, no, exactly. It was, it, when we were talking about, I mean, the Kronos needs something to happen. That right there could be mm-hmm. the thing that allows Kronos to actually, you know, start to dominate this game. Because like I said, you know, my thoughts are Zeus is really good here, but just lost a, a villager, couldn't get the dock up. So the dock was ruined, right? So this is really good for Tunis now, I think. Yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see a quicker age up as well. Like you see the eco is already pretty potent advantage for Tunison. Uh, ah, yeah, the good old classic the, zero uh, military though. <laughs> oh yeah. Hmm. I wonder if he's gonna teleport the uh, uh, the temple now for the the old rush, but we'll see. You, I mean, they almost always do. I don't know why not, when that doesn't. I think it's a bit rough here with the fishing being set up though, right? Mm -hmm. like, like maybe just play it a little bit safer. I don't want to say play for mid game, but on the verge of it, I could see. Chronos you can always teleport really well it back. I believe is that Prometheus on the way. It should be right. Yeah. Yep. So so clay boys could come into play here. And there it is. Where is he putting it? Okay. Okay, hear me out. You actually just pound down that dock with the clay. That's boys. exactly what he's going to do. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly clay what's about beats to wood, my friends. And take up now. Yeah, so it looks like Elise is going up as well. So he'll have his hero at some point and go defend against that. Um, hmm. Wait, is that? By the way, do we look at the relics yet? I guess we're all waiting for them to age up. Have. So it increases. Oh. <laughs> I mean, no. Oh, that matters Keep this game. Rejected. Um... I don't like that. that. That one seems. I don't know. People like that. I don't. I think if that one's getting value, you're already losing. <laughs> yeah, you, you're like, we got to talk, boys. <laughs> Uh, increase attack That's range damage. One. Yeah, pretty good. Could play like Terma. Uh, increase the PS armor. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, so not too bad. And yeah. they're also both Nexus users base. And so. there it is. All right. Hey, yeah, you, know, you, know, you know when someone like walks in like, hey, hey, do these guys just turn up and be like, clay, clay? Yeah, exactly. All right. Just start beating it down. So, where's the response? Because he did queue up. He's got to build his right? hero. Yeah, it's going to be somewhere. Right? He should be in the way. We've got a Minotaur yeah. coming as well. Yeah. Mentor will not win that by himself. He needs the no, no. He's gonna get he's the hero. The villagers he's, are coming he's going though. For, like, yeah, against Prometheans. No, he's got He's going for a TC, right? But it, it's right next to the temple. I, what did I tell you? I told you. I Zeus don't think he knows. Care. Oh. Zeus doesn't care. He's about to care. <laughs> like, okay, bolt me, bro. <laughs> Which one? Oh, he fists no. it immediately. No way. He oh, just lost yeah. the settlement. Oh. That's a I lot think... of used resources right there. So he's going to reshuffle this. Tunison is on his feet, smiling ear to ear right now. This is going so well for him. Oh, so many clay boys. The Minotaur also doesn't get the maximum hit. No. So this could be villager going down. Shiv's going to be out. <sighs> yeah, guys, like a little bit of advice. Knives aren't rough. very good against clay. Okay, like just kind of gets stuck in it. And he's stuck right now. This is ridiculous. This might just be an easy win. This, oh this my is God. horrible. He'll hold here, but I don't think... Oh. Oh, okay, Bolt comes in. <laughs> yeah, but but that was like just a free upgrade. Remember, he used his god power to upgrade that. So that's like very efficient trade for, for Bolt there. Oh, yeah. I mean, he can't immediately get a new one. I think he actually could afford to do it because he's got plenty of favor in the bank. But he'll just wait for the cooldown. So Salmon should eventually go up here. But look does at Does it the matter? It, it does for making yourself feel better. <laughs> I guess he's even brought in more villagers. And you have to think about it right now, he only has 22 to 32 villagers, and half those villagers now are, are on a settlement. So that means they're based on idle time, right? So the village, the eco is so bad. Wait, why is he attacking the clay boy? No, no, this oh. is catastrophic. Oh, Ulysses. He, mate, you might want to just save up for another settlement. You're going to need it. 20 to for next 34. Game. Yeah, he's just go yeah, he's like, okay, cool. <laughs> Bye, have home. a good time. <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit to kill everything else. Oh no. I just want to remind people we had technical issues over uh, like half an hour long mm -hmm. to get us this. <laughs> a game that's probably gonna be done in ten minutes, man. We talked about Zeus just being the absolute true king of uh, of Anatolia, but this is just look the place from this. But you also said just because we pick a god or we say a god's better, or, you know, worse, whatever. Mm -hmm. These are the best players in the game. They can turn anything around. They can win with any matchup or whatever, even if it's you know, you know, not known as for for and not one god's not known for beating the other. It doesn't matter. Yeah. 
all it took, like you saw, we saw the citizen kill the villager, and that just started a horrible chain reaction uh, for Elise's from that point on. Ugh. It's also the fact that he lost his scout, which was so bewildering, right? Like, that lack of yeah. vision is really what just killed him. He didn't know that he was running out to a, basically a temple. Um, maybe you suspect that play, but like, can you act as if there's going to be a temple everywhere on the map? Like, are we playing Age of Mythology or Minesweeper at that point, right? Like, you gotta, you gotta choose your risks, and unfortunately, this risk did not work out for him. So, Cavalry, do we have a dock up there up. from Tuniston? Uh, we do. He's snuck on. Okay. Yeah. And I don't think Ulysses knows yet. Not even for aggro, by the way, just for fishing. Yeah, here, here's what's gonna happen. Um, Tuniston's gonna go up to the heroic age, get a bunch of myth units out, whatever, on the water. Completely clean Ulysses off the water because Ulysses is not going up in age for a little bit here, and that's gonna be that's gonna be horrible. It's gonna be so bad. Oh no! I'm trying to figure the way out of this horrible. <laughs> Magically kill ten citizens. That yeah, that you know what? That, you that just would need do to it. Go kill that settlement. Just just hit it. I'm gonna say this could be just a skill issue. Just <laughs> ATM not high enough. <laughs> it's not high enough. <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, the good news is, like, can we look at UC's army? He doesn't have that much to chaos. So I really am just like... <laughs> Actually, no, that chaos would be pretty atrocious. Like, the Minotaur would just immediately die to the heroes. He still has restoration. That'll help, obviously. But oh, Looks like he has at least found the dock. So that's that's a positive, right? There is a way that yeah. Ulysses can claw exactly. his way back into this. Yeah. Well, here's the other thing, now. He can't do the whole, we well, gets the next age and just hits him with Mythians. He can't do that now. And by the way, he did claw his way to his own heroic age. He's actually going up now. So he saved up a bunch of food for that. I mean, I'm impressed he clawed the eco situation back, right? 41 to 48. So game definitely not over, man. It's kind of crazy that Tunison done so much work there and it seems to have counted for so little. I wish we were able to see the fishing boat count because it doesn't actually doesn't, the villager count doesn't show it. But, so it's really hard for us to like count over. It's definitely going to be an advantage for Vodka. He's yeah. like, let me just let me just select all this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be back soon, boys. There right, you go. 16, and then, yeah, those ones don't count because they don't have yeah. a home, okay? Exactly. They're just this is like This is like voting in an election, okay? If you don't give me yeah. a home address, you can't you can't <laughs> participate. All right, so we've got 6, 9, 12. It's counting Second with TC the counter. Second TC from by the way. I don't know if we saw that, but... Yeah, he went for that a while back, and I think that's yeah. why you just saw this this gap shrink because he just decided mm -hmm. to play greed instead of all in. However, the we have now got him approaching. I think he's has really he weird. Be Doesn't in. look as I mean, the eco is still there, right? Doesn't look as bad as I thought it would look at this point. It's still bad, but it's not as bad. I mean. It kind of feels bad when your army isn't absolutely bloated and you've got these two abilities mm -hmm. that rely on you having a big army to utilize, right? Like having bronze, bronze having restoration. restoration. Really good, yeah. They are good, but they really feel impactful when you're up at like 80 pop, right? So mm. that is a slight negative form here, whereas Chaos actually is more useful on smaller armies now ever since they changed it. Yeah, Chaos is just super good. At least got the Hydras arriving, so. You're just poking. He's not pushing yet. Uh, we haven't seen Tunison frequently using the hero upgrade, which is a bit surprising. Yeah, you're supposed to just be spamming that. Maybe you wanted to save it for the Contarius or something. We do have status now. Uh, this is awkward for the Hoppate defense, because especially in a choke yep. point, you're getting maximum horrible. deeps. Yeah, neither player wanted to commit just yet. Obviously, <laughs> Ulysses can't commit to anything but defense right now. 80 to 45, That's that's tough. I mean, the start of this game is enough to commit you to an insane asylum. You feel like you need know, oh, this. Yeah. This has not been. Horrible. This has been such a stressful game. I'm actually impressed. I want to give props to Ulysses for still even being in this game right now. Oh yeah. The eco lead has built though. It is a problem that needs to be addressed. Soon. The uh, Tunison's not oh. running around with the Contarius because he's got the military advantage, right? Well, I'd be running around yeah. looking for Vils. I don't know if I'd be sitting I here with this. I think it's more like maybe he just doesn't trust the Mamillos. I mean, you should, right? Mamillos against like what one Minotaur and a Hydra. You don't really care. I think he'd be but, fine. Yeah. I think the problem oh, I've seen in this okay, game with Tunison is, yeah, he's playing <laughs> a little bit too safe, right? Like, actually, the way this game is played out, it's almost like he didn't expect to get such an overwhelming lead. But the mm -hmm. worry about him playing too safe is you remember game one, right? The same issue came up there where instead of playing for his all-in timing, he took and a more reserved nice approach. Raid. But that's the raids we're looking for. So nice hit with the Qatari. And he's going to look to poke at the town center now. So hitting from both sides, still holding on to the chaos. He's dragging a good part of the army away. And by the way, when we were talking, this is for the audience, I guess. 
we obviously can see stuff that they can't see. So um, Tunison doesn't know the, the huge advantage he had at some, you know, certain points. Only we really know that. So I've ironically always called it God Vision, which doesn't feel yeah. appropriate in Age of Mythology because like, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my God, new ability, new ability again. Last patch, you didn't get Satis? it. Oh my oh, God. Oh. Oh. Well, he did at least pull one out of position there, so. Yeah, I still got the restoration. <laughs> I mean, that's dude, that's Satis for you, right? You can't be caught no clipping. Oh. And we have got the Ford Fortress is coming is in. Chilling. And by the way, Elise, he's, he's caught up in military. Wait, I, he's going oh, age how? four. Oh, that's how. They, oh, they're, 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 okay, okay now, now the, the picture's question. been I appreciate paid. it. <laughs> he's like, oh, you're building a bigger army? I've got something for that. Atlas now on the way. For yeah, that's going to be insanely tough. Please don't dive into these choke points. As much as you know that danger is coming, Ulysses, Satyrs will just eat you. So it's going to back up a little bit here, but it almost feels like actually like Zeus should be playing more myth here, right? Especially considering Tunisian hasn't been hero. I don't know why he hasn't units. been using that. I don't know. We've got more hydras, right? But what would he be the, saving it for? I don't I don't get it. Uh, the problem I have here is like, I get where he's fought with Hydra, but I feel like Minotaur's just better, right? He's going Hydra... The, oh my God, he's diving. What? The <laughs> wait, 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 that's, that the the that's the tech. No way. He's going to block it. Oh, nice chaos. He has to chaos here, but is it going to be he good enough? He might restoration. He might restoration bronze if he has to, to get it. Miller he coming might. in. I don't think no. he knows. I think this was just oh, a, a no. ploy, a play. He didn't know the tech was happening. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. And the Mermelor are going to oh, kill all of them. Are you kidding me? He could have got it, I think, if he just, he just bronze healed. He could have actually got it. And that would have been crazy to stop the uh, the age up. Yeah, he's we'll get the blocker. Army arrives in the main base. Funnily enough, he might have arrived just in time to get hit and by a bunch of God of Elites. He has got the bronze. And bronze. But he's still not Wait, killing the town center. The age up is going to happen. No. But he just needs to hit it right now. Come on! Get in there! He's thumping it down. Th this could still be denied. This is so uncomfortably oh, it's close. So close. It's so close. It's so close. Don't hit the citizen. Don't hit the citizen. Just hit the building. He doesn't know. He well, the thing is, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. The citizen repair rate's He's too good. Up. He's gonna get him. Oh. <laughs> you got it. That must have been me, GG. Dude. Surely that no. was GG. Come no. on, we've been denied. Wait. I can't believe that. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, no. can we get confirmation that had the <laughs> Myth, what are you doing to us? That had to be a victory for Tunisian, surely, right? Implode would have 100% came out there. And he could have no? killed Ulysses, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if No, Ulysses happened. won. No, stop. No, he didn't. <laughs> stop. You're lying. Oh, I don't believe you. God, no. That is simultaneously no incredible and depressing because of the Age of Mythology replay system doing that. Oh, no. I can't, dude. Like that, like, that that right there would be the that would have been the game of the weekend if it wasn't for the observer bugging out and kicking us out just before Ulysses gets the GG. Oh can't my! See it, but I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> I am outraged. Okay, just... let's make up for it. Uh... No crasherino, please. Should we get ready? I think it's time to hop into game number three. We should be caught up now, hopefully. <laughs> that uh, is we... nuts. We're going to the marshes where it's going to be Odin versus Set. Oh, I'm so bummed out on that, man. Did he, did he, did he, did he end up he must not have, He must or? not have got age four. He must not have got age four, right? Because there's but no it, way. It looked pretty healthy. There were still a few villagers, like, were citizens repairing. I think, I like, know. the Hydra is maybe, like, if they get one or two kills, they get more heads, right? And maybe yeah. that extra damage thumps him. Because I think he was still about 20 seconds away. It's really deceptive, that bar. So, like, because surely you get implosion out there and it's just GG, right? Theoretically, so like we're kind of stuck in an odd, uh, an odd you had to have imploded situation. your own base, but like your TC is basically dead anyway, right? Yeah, and you have a second base in the center of the map. You got a brand new missile so, too. <laughs> you know why not just you, you know you know like back in uh, back around the Cold War there was a concept <laughs> came up for, but like so in the Cold War, um, my country came up the concept for a nuclear landmine, right? Ah. Oh. And it's, a, it, it's, it's the same thing with that implosion. If I can't have the territory, you can't have it, right? Um, I'm going to have to Google nuclear landmine. Hopefully the government doesn't show up in my house, but I'm going to... So, so luckily, it this. never came to fruition because they discovered there was an issue with the fuses in winter where they would freeze. And mm. the solution was pretty stupid. We said, 
we should have a roof. We should have a, like a, a chicken uh, that lays its nest there to keep the fuse. Wa- yeah, you see where this starts to unravel. Okay, what matters <laughs> is I distracted you. Bringing a chicken to a military operation, I start to have doubts. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, chickens are always cowards and they don't know what war is. So at least you can trust them to do what they're going to do in that situation and be chickens. But the more important thing is that distracted us long enough that I think we are ready to hop into <laughs> game number three. Oh, man. Wait until I tell you about explosive bats. We're going in, though. <laughs> game number three here. Ulysses oh. won away from a clean 3-0 sweep after an insane game number two. Can Tunison bite back with set? Yep, and here we go. Elise's on the right-hand side in the red playing as Odin. Let's see if he's got what it takes here. He's probably going to go into that second age. He's probably going to go for some harassment, but we'll see. And I just realized it would have been much better if they were playing uh, the sieves the other way around because then you could have Tunison playing Odinson. <laughs> well, a little word scramble there. I like it. So we have got Master of the Creatures. This is our 2024 edition of Dr. Doolittle happening before our very eyes as Tunison is fighting uh, for a comeback here. A comeback that is... <sighs> Dude, you have to be so demoralized after that second game, right? Like I don't even this... understand. <laughs> we can't. can't. We didn't get to see the end. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to see how that unraveled. I mean, this is the, the brutal kind of nature of it, though, right? Like, I always say the best players in the world are the ones that can not forget what happened, but also compartmentalize it so it doesn't drain you. Because that game, man, like, the position he found himself in to then lose. That That's what is... I'm saying. Though. I know we should talk about this game. But I just want to say that all that bad stuff happened to Zeus and Zeus won anyway. <laughs> I, oh, man. But to be fair, so, though, Tunison was in the spot to win. We talked about it. He was in a spot to win, right? A few times. And he just, he was he too do, idle. He, doesn't, he was too I, idle. I think he just doesn't have this. I always talk about, like, the best pros once I'm looking at. Killer Instinct. Yeah, you know <laughs> yep. where I'm going, right? Like, oh, yeah. Crap will get off the pot. And I think we've seen it twice <laughs> now where it, it, he's probably in need of some laxatives. So we'll this have to see. This is a tournament for a lot of money, obviously. Nerves and when I come. You want, you want to feel safe. You want to guarantee the win. Go to Mythic, you know, and all that. I, I get it. I do. Honestly, for a moment there, I thought you said this is a tournament and we're making a pun on the laxative comments. But, no. <laughs> I mean, we're going to have to see if he can uh, he can get the diaper on and recover because I think he's I mean, a very he talented player. We've good. seen that. Hmm. And in this matchup, in fairness, you should be hmm. the aggro party, right? Like, Set should have momentum on his side, in theory. Yeah, Marsh has six relics. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. I mean, nah, we don't care. We're set, yeah, right? We're not. Yeah, <laughs> if we're it's... building farms as set, something's gone wrong. We Earth should be at the end good. of the game. I guess the only annoying thing here is Ulysses having Odin. I mean, you can play Raiding Cavalry quite well. I just don't think you want to into set due to how good he uses spears, right? Yeah, you might you might do it, though, just a little bit. Um, just, to, you know, force your opponent to you know, play a little bit of defense, get a little bit of idle time in there. You're not trying to actually win the game that way, but you could still try to do a little bit of harassment. See, tech up should be getting ready soon. In fact, already on the way here for yeah, powering that granary. He's getting so much food from that. Hey, what do you least go up with? Uh, we've got that's Freya, right? No, it's hard for me to see my brain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Freya's on the way. Okay, so we are gonna have that cavalry approach. I think it makes sense, and also this is gonna kind of be tricky because I think. Tunison, he's looking for those three rotations. One really cool thing about these ravens is you can spot where the conversions are happening early on and then mm -hmm. just send your opening units there to punish the priests. By the way, this map has so much food on it right. that like, you almost have to go out with the berserk to, to like just either stop the priest or just pre-kill all the animals because if you don't, what's going to happen is Tunison's going to have so much food at his base. He's going to keep converting and bringing them back. He's going to have food for the rest of the game. It's going to be a huge advantage. Surprised actually, we haven't seen that yet. I was he just delaying to go horses first? Yeah, it seems like Ulysses didn't bother to get that kind of opening berserker we sometimes see. Mm -hmm. um, usually, it's more value in the Atlantean matchup in particular, right? Because you need to deny the oracles. Whereas, I find with mm -hmm. the Egyptians, it's easy to forget sometimes. I mean, you know, Set's going to be doing this, but it you know, when you have that kind of muscle memory of what you're going to do in certain matchups, oh, yeah. right? And against the Egyptians, like, why am I building military units? He's not coming out. Scott Wad Jets now. Do you think he's gonna go for a second TC or or one TC? You can't set here. second TC here, right? I mean, 
It's not a bad TC placement. <laughs> it, it, it is like very protected. But if you know your opponent's going Freya, it, he's going to have mobility in his side, right? And I oh, yeah. think you're playing for center map instead. Like those relics are really important. And we can already see. He's grabbing all of them. He's grabbing exactly. Yeah, he's going for it. We haven't seen some of Tunis in though. I think overall the relics were more oops. favorable for four here from what I recall seeing on them. So, mm -hmm. question is, was the ball worth it? The little piggies make it happen. We've got He's a big pushing. boy army. When okay, here's the thing: when you see a Wajet leave the base like that this early, that <laughs> signals to me an early push because you can't retreat with a no. Wajet. You, they're too slow. It, well, it's either go or can, no go. But it's really oh, <laughs> yeah. You can teleport, I guess, with shifting <laughs> sands, right? That's that's really. It's you know really what the, the really game. crazy play is? Is you teleport deeper. No one will oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll never see that coming. Oh, you're going to kill all my stuff? Let me just teleport into your base. Good luck. I mean, one little monkey snitches on the tree line. That's what we need, right? Oh, time being that. Raining cavalry is not liking what I'm seeing here. The hearse is. Not this react. is why you need those early axemen with it. You have to have early axemen with this. I see a... There's a few. There's a few coming. They're coming. And he does have the balls to kind of sustain him. To he's, block any attacks here. He's got the free animals. Oh, Wait, did he get the monkeys? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think I think those came with the when he aged up, right? But I'm not sure. He might have gotten that. Right. No, I think that's from point. the like. We can check on the temple. I don't think there was any free units no. this time around. Unless we There's missed not it, enough monkeys because there would have been five. Yeah. So, yeah, we definitely don't have that. So temple on the north side. Yeah. Yeah, he, no, he ain't got, got a scratch. Nothing. He worked hard. Okay, he he trained these animals from when he was a little pit. All right, you know, years like in the he was making. Poking him off the gold there. I like that. A little bit of idle time. I mean, it's the only gold you easily have access to here. North and south side don't really mm -hmm. look for free. This is looking good, man. I, I mean, Tunison, we questioned whether he's going to have that killer instinct. This might be the best game as an example of it. Oh, yeah. Pure aggression here. Where did all the Hesir go? Oh, there they mm -hmm. I think they are chilling at the back. So, yeah, only cavalry are looking around. Be. Oh, here we go. And you can't go into this choke point. The forest fire would grief you pretty hard. Um, what he needs to do, by the way, at least he should have that um, Valkyrie behind his gold so he can actually heal up his villagers and whatnot. They keep getting hit by the poison. It'd be very, very helpful here. I think it'd also be helpful to just garrison in this outpost, right? Like, it's pressuring this yeah. area. Just kind of get that extra chip damage. Might he's not stopping. This is, this is it. He's going all in here. Oh, not, he, he you know, has to. Yeah. A second gonna... Valkyrie would be so good. The problem is, like, you've got such a good position. If you have to back away now, your opponent's going into raiding cavalry, right? You're pretty much forfeiting the game oh, yeah. because you'll be kiting and defending the entire time. So we have got more. If you Falcons. remember, we had we had a game just like this already. The same the same yep. matchup. Well, not all the same matchup. And there's far fight. Ah, yes, Bayes. This is super yeah. early. Gonna dive out the Wajits. I don't know if I like this fight from. Uh, sorry, from from Alisi. I don't think she'd have gotten. No, because the Wajits aren't even being touched right now. They're getting maximum yeah, no. value here. Remember last Animals time we saw this, the Wajis went down immediately to the Hasid. This, that, and look, look, the, the Hasid aren't even fighting them. They're just, they're fighting the infantry. I don't get it. I am bewildered by this. Ulysses, he's like, wait, I thought we waited until 15 minutes to try yeah. and win the games in this series. 15 minute, no rush. <laughs> we had an agreement. The agreement has changed. We Pray our that you're not changing We do again. nothing for a little while. Let's get our ecos up. Clash in the middle. So he didn't lose any Wajits out of that, right? So not to free. No, kind I mean, of think scary number. Yeah, one turn a little bit. He's got three priests there. He should be stopping and healing. He need, yeah, he needs to pre heal with those priests. And there's a second Valkyrie. That's going to be very helpful because obviously it doubles his heal rate overall, but also he can also heal that other Valkyrie back up, right? So get maximum value from that. Yeah, hey man. Uh, the, the Reddit strategy is strong. That's why I call this because it's just all a bunch of animals. Uh, anyway, Obelisk now coming up. So he's going to be able to see what his opponent is up to at all times. some good vision. You know you're having a sad time when your raven is just sitting at home watching. I, th I think oh, I kind of like your play do. right now. I want to see him teleport to the other side of his base. <laughs> I'm telling you. Like, <laughs> You'll just, never just see send him coming, a, man. Send a pig around there, all right? Just like, you know what? And then it like Morse codes back into oinks. And you're like, oh, okay, wait, wait, we have wait, coordinates. Wait, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. He goes to the other, he walks to the other side of the base, gets his, and then, and then, uh, Elise, ships back. And then teleports <laughs> back on top of the gold. I'm serious? I bet you he would get so many kills that way, too. He wouldn't be able to get away. But... Yeah, because Ulysses would be pumped up chest like, ha, noob, had to go home with his shifting set. Wait, what? All right, we do have a little bit of raid coming in from the calf. They are going to be able to find some of the workers, but they're not able to hang around. Yeah, you can't sit there. 
Wait, I think that was a misclick. <laughs> He's actively converting <laughs> the boar and killing it. Whoops. This is what well, he's pushing to the other side. Yeah, he's pushing him back at least. I like he was. And, I do yeah. like that from Tunisian. That's yep. really smart to be covering the gold there. He could also put an obelisk there, but that works too, I guess. Interesting. What is this, what is this cursed building placements? We have got a sneak down there, though. That's going to put Tunisian further out of position to try and intercept gold. So that I, I like the almost bullshit. gone. He's going to have to leave. Yeah. One hundred left over. Mm -hmm. and he has to make his shuffle, make his move he's gotta, here. He's going. Yeah, he's going to the south one for sure. What's he, what's he building up there? He's building a. Uh, is it just a hall? It's also a good blockers, right? Chris, little There's no right. towers or TC to run to this time, though. So no. if he gets over there and gets in position, he has a little death ball. I don't know. I'm telling you, they're shifting sounds, man. <laughs> I want to see someone do it. Like, strategically, it's pretty oh, smart. If your white dudes need to be in position, you can shift them across, right? So it's like you can catch people in really awkward positions. Um, but it's it's going to come down to how well he can defend that gold. The question now is, is it enough military to break this, right? Like, it is a substantial lead. But... I, I actually, to be honest, I wouldn't attack that hall. I like the choke. Well, I guess there's throwing Axemen now, right? So that kind of makes Yeah, you, you need to be period, worried about that. Yeah. Tonight. I get what your, your thought process, right? It's yeah, stacking yeah, yeah. Poison. I, did, I didn't realize how many throwing Axemen there were, but now I see it. I was once blind, but now I see. The other annoying thing is you actually have to commit to this position now because the repairs are just so quick in Age of Myth, right? So you walk away oh, for yeah. a second, full HP again. The villagers are going to have to shift away. Axeman, I guess, he doesn't poking. have to run here. He can just sit here and... I, I wouldn't... Yeah, don't chase. Just watch the gold. We're reaching threshold, though. Population is about to cap out. So if this is not enough to break the base, Tunison's in trouble. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to poke it down now. Looks like the Wajis are deep enough. he doesn't enough. have enough Wajet. Maybe he didn't build enough statues. I don't know. Oh, he got 50 favor. I'm surprised he does not have more Wajet in there. Maybe he wants the second shifting turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... Oh, that's that. good. Offensive one, then defensive one. Big or double offense, you know, just never see that coming. I mean, it's just uh, it's a game of whack a mole at that stage. He's keeping him off the gold. This is this is really good though. Dive is coming in, a little bit aggressive here. This would work better if Tunis is moving more with the widgets on the backside, but they are a little bit slow. Mm -hmm. Cumbus in here, great hole, almost going down. So it looks like at this stage it's guaranteed it's got four, right? It's got it here. The poison's so good too. What's the commitment? The Axemen are on harass though. He's wasting a lot of time on a Valkyrie with the backline Myth units. Again, he's using the Wadjets to hit the... I, he's hitting oh, the wrong thing. He's 100% yeah, hitting the wrong thing. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. This always this always happens to poor Wadjets. And that one's dead to one Hasir. That's how dangerous is the Hasir getting on well, top. And Wadjets just die. But the Axemen, they're begging to be hit right now. But once again, the spits are on the Valkyries. Oh. The Spearmen were attacking the Axemen. The Axemen were attacking the Cav. I don't... This is all falling apart for Tunison. I mean, he, he has, has numbers, lot. but yeah. he's lost quality. Wadjets are Oh, Wadjets not getting hit. He, it's still alive. I don't think this is enough, dude. I think this is done, man. I, yeah. <laughs> we may be looking at a 3-0 here. That was the oh all-in timing for Tunison, and it failed. It's got more coming, but... Oh, yeah, but he's got no myth no. units, which it goes down. Look how fast it dies once a hero gets on top of it. Lost cannons, man. Like, you want Where that AoE flash? shifting chance to the other side of the base right there? That would have been perfect. Okay, so Ulysses, <laughs> this is good. He has gold access, but calm down, mate. I'm just going to say the timing's the been missed. Show him what you're so. about. He's like, man, if I just had a few more speedy boys. Slinger transition's yeah. coming in. He's got the favor. Oh, I feel like Ulysses has perfectly read him, right? It's like a book designed for five-year-olds, which is five pages oh. deep. He's got Berserkers <laughs> coming. Oh, no. The Slingers are not going to do very well anymore. No. <laughs> like, that's the problem, right? Like, it, it, the play makes sense for Tunis. is like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's been doing Cav this whole time. He's doing Axemen. Uh, throwing Axemen. I'm going to counter those. You it's actually like need 800 access. food floating right now. 900, 1,000. At almost, some point, almost. surely, you just go age free. <sighs> I think he might gold. do it. Yeah, he's 19 on gold. This is this is a tech up. Okay, so he's all, is Khaleesi, oh, he's going to North Gold now. Okay. I, I like this then. Like, I was a bit worried that Tunusin was kind of throwing the game, but I, I think he's fine here. Like, it's not ideal, but he does have no. the age play. And Ulysses is now kind of hard stuck to the age rebooming. And by the way, Tunisian still has, you know, 54 villagers to 49. So he's, his eco is doing really good behind this still. Exactly. Like, the worry here was that the raiding cab were going to start breaking out. But if you're fast teching, your opponent isn't going to have that time to re-bolster his cab line. Mm -hmm. Nice little catch there. Try. 
big choke right now. All right, guys. All one more big fight, and we can do a forest fire. Follow me over here. Yeah, I don't think he's going to follow him that deep in there. He don't need to. It's, it's just going to be the shifting sands, you know? That's true. <laughs> the shifting sands right next to the woods. That's why he hasn't gone for the, the wood line yet, you know? It's like, I have you now. Play. Oh, I'm on fire. Really just shuffling. Very obviously to the south side. He sees that for sure. Oh, look, another Spitty Boy's out. Oh, yeah, I've been here before. Yeah. So Tech, tech Up is now in the way. I mean, he had no choice. He's at 175. How is he going heroic ball. first? I don't... That's crazy. Uh, when you really think about that. Oh, by the way, time, he right? wasn't using his Pharaoh for a lot of that to actually do the empowerments on the structure True. for his eco boost. So the fact that he's getting there is nuts. But it's all the out of time. Look, look, once again, Ulysses, another group just running around oh, like headless chickens. Go. They're just not gathering right now. By the way, to everyone, just so you know, these fights right here, it doesn't matter if you have the better army or not. A lot of times it's going to come down to uh, who's got the better micro. I mean, who kills the right units with the right units, what you're targeting. You have to be very, very accurate and very quick. Yeah, and Tunison seems to like spitting on Valkyries a little bit too much in these fights. Yeah. So. <laughs> spitting on Valkyries, Big spitting on his hit. ear. Raiding Cav. Going to chip down a few villages. A slow reaction coming in. Weren't able to mirror it in time there, so it's going to see some eco losses. They'll bring yeah. him more towards equality here. But just as soon as you think you're uh, earning the same wages as someone else in the office, they get a promotion. Age free, yep. now coming in. I wonder what Elise is going to do about it. He can't go anywhere. He... And if he goes heavy on all his units right now with the upgrade, I mean, pushing us can be really hard. Hear me out. Tunison has struggled to push in. What if you just go in? Well? in. <laughs> we had differing ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Teleport to the North Gold. I'm, that wins the game. Shifting sands right now to the North Gold. Kill all the villagers. Hear me out. He's shifting sands over the wall just to get there quicker. Just, just right over the wall. <laughs> We need to make shifting sounds cheaper, you know? <laughs> I need to see it used to small no, no, micro plays. Let's, let's give it multiple casts off rip, like Valor and stuff. Oh, no, no. Give it like a return cast for a few yeah. seconds. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm not. So, walls are going to be brought down. It's going to try to Look poke at, that at the choke of throwing axemen, though. That's nasty if you try to go into that. We have got Scorpion Men now, though. He's going up. The villagers are gone, though. If you saw, they already ran away from that North Gold mine. Okay, he would have been able to run from Shifting Sands. Could have used it. it telling well, you. We can catch up the Shifting Sands with, <laughs> with these spits. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> he's got to find something. This is brutal to watch. Tinnison, he's on the verge of getting that hit he need. Mm -hmm. It's not bad to kind of wait to a certain degree because he has got all the upgrades coming in. He's getting the, the better slingers, right? But oh, yeah. you are playing with fire here. Look at the resources. Elise is, Elise is, trying, yeah, Elise is trying going up for her, his own heroic. That's what he's yep. going to do right now. Yep, there it is. Clicked it. Oh, this could be big. Frost Giants plus the Freeze. You could actually carve the army into two and then yeah. take it down. I t you know, I talk about this all the time. I don't know if you've seen or heard me talk about it, but like, why don't the pro... Oh, what? Wait. It's happening! He's shifting sands! <laughs> it's too late! He needed oh, to put it between no. the base and the gold. It would have been so much better. And now, guess what Ulysses is going to do? Walk all the way to the yep. Northern Gold. Okay. Yep. yep, this is back and forth. This is That's saying, the Frost... What player? I've all, I never see players try to freeze just half an army. And even the the best so players, good. they always freeze the whole army. They never well, it, freeze just half. So it's positional logic, right? Like if you know you have an edge, if you can stop them retreating, you take that and you surround. But I agree, there are situations where it makes more sense to divide. So we had a really cool game in the qualifiers uh, where Recon, his opponent was trying to catch his son of Osiris, and he kept the son mm -hmm. of Osiris really far away, which would have been bad because he wouldn't have had an army. But he kept him mm. so far away, he couldn't be dove afterwards. So. There is that ah. dynamic being fought about there because mm -hmm. you know, logic is if his whole army's frozen, you get, dude, you, you are the spoiled kid of the gelato on Sunday. You know, you get to pick whatever mm -hmm. you want, all the flavors, right? There's unlimited tests to go around. So it does make sense. And I think we'll see if he tries to divide and conquer the army because this could be big here. Tech comes out, there we go. immediate panic from Tunison. He needs to leave. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone hold I'm on like... to each other. If they freeze us all, he's we're safe not, together. No. Yeah, he's just balling up. He's like, go ahead, freeze me. You're going to get... He, I'll fight after it's over. <laughs> this is a free ship circle, okay? We're all, we're all friends here together. He's going to be able to back out. Hey, do you think he's going to start spamming Scorpion Men? Or what do you think he's going to do with that? Just I, save it? I, I, Scorpion Men against... Shipping sands, maybe? Against Frost Giants? I don't know. I don't, I mean, I don't know. Well, except for the Frost Giants, obviously. Oh, oh, yeah, but I mean, like, if you think about what's just impactful there, frozen, right? Yeah. Like, you just get frozen. Like, congrats. You almost killed us. And oh, Throw the ancestors God. down. Oh, it's throwing ancestors so good. Yeah, poke. It's the huge fight. 
Freeze coming in. Frost Giant's gonna go to the front line. Freeze is targeting him down though, Frost so nice snipe there. That's so the micro quick. we need. But Tunison, his army may be dying too quick. He needs to rebolster it. Ancestors frost. into an immediate frost yep. here. So chill zone activated. No fight back, no bite back. Well, there's still a few ancestors off. that get the fight because it, the freeze only it works instantly on the units that are already there. So the ancestors keep coming out of the ground. He's going to be able to use some of those. That does mean you, you get that kind of effect of half the army frozen though, right? So like, exactly. I mean, it would be a bit better if we had maybe a little bit more kite from the Axemen, but they are going to stand their ground. <laughs> this everybody knows in Age of Mythology, we told it, your units don't take damage when they're frozen like, at all. They take like, was it a 2% damage, 1%? <laughs> not even. I think it's 99.9% I think armor. Yeah, yeah that's... <laughs> You're not, you're not. So you're, you're not saying I can hurt them? Yeah, sure. Sure you can. Get them, <laughs> boys. Their feelings, that's about it. <laughs> you're going to hurt their feelings. I don't think you're oh, going to Oh, look at this. Ooh, the building, uh, the wall, it's not going to be quick enough, no. though. So the camera's going to get in. And Ulysses. To 86. This is not good for Ulysses. Also, half his army is calf. The camera riders just yeah. arrived. This is not a winnable fight anymore that's for Ulysses. Gnarls in there, but that's not going to be good. This is crazy, man. What, I'm impressed. Uh, for a second, it looked like Tunison yeah, lost his time. He's on the Frost Giant. Maybe? You know, he does. I can stop with the helmet. Good. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I'm saying maybe. Is it going to be good enough? Because we're about to reach economy I know, here. I don't know. I just I like the way those look. You just like, you just want to get one of those, right? <laughs> Next time it's like a line, you want people to be selling so Viking cool. helmets. <laughs> you want them to be the correct size, though. So, like, that helmet should be big enough for you to live in, right? Exactly. Just chill. Camels are gonna peel off now, so a little bit of rating. This game's still not over. I'm impressed, man. That yes, it's a it's a 50 military lead, but yeah. appropriate respect is being shown by. He goes the same. Susan. The thing that's gonna change though is with this map control. I like what we're seeing out blue. Not just the age up. He picked up additional settlements to get better pop. Right. Is so now there a way for Elise's to kill the priest before the priest can kill the frost giants? No, I thought you were going to go with, is there a way to get oh. A4? Because that seems more no. feasible than what you just suggested. <laughs> is, it that, is it that bad? You can't kill him. <laughs> yeah, he, he's pretty much getting dunked on here. You know, this, this is like, oh. like those Frost Giants, weirdly enough, they may be torn the situation, but in this metaphor, it's the other way around. That's like dwarves yeah. trying to play basketball against Kirby. <laughs> you know, dwarves are natural sprinters. Maybe if we stack on top of each other and wear a long trench coat, there we can go. dunk. <laughs> or go. we have someone else toss me. Exactly. That's don't know why I went into Hearthstone announcer mode. No, now. that's good. That's good. <laughs> Illidan like versus Sad. I don't know what he's going to do against the Mythic Age here. It's going to be tough. You know what he could do? Just you know, full send of the TC. Automatic W. The game will desync. That's right. Like, we, we, remember, guys, we are going to time out in the last 30 seconds of gameplay just to keep things spicy. Nice blocker on the settlement here with the Yars, oh, yeah. though. Big Yars are so cool. They do look fabulous. They look more Roman than Norse, you know. Let's go walk away from it. Easy, yeah, easy. You lost, but... Little does he know this is what Tunison wants. He wants to buy more and more time here just to get to that mythic gauge, and that's going to be huge. Hey, it's what Tunison's been waiting for. He can again. But Ooh. will he? I don't know. He's got a lot of favor. Oh, and there, oh, there it is. No! Oh, tornado. And he follows oh, perfectly oh, into the army. It's so good. Oh, my God. We got cows. Someone <laughs> get a government relief package together because these guys need assistance. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. Oh. Y'all's dodging. However, that was rough. Heavily outnumbered now, and the spears and camels are ready to party. A whole age behind here. Ulysses has started to save up, though. <laughs> are you kidding me? How is this game not over? <laughs> this is not killing him. I, just, we talked about this. <laughs> Where's the you know siege? What? Like, in, in anything. I, I... Tunison's that guy who, like, he plays Battlefield, he downs someone, he starts teabagging them, blow... but he doesn't kill. You know, like... He blew 100 favor on something. What is he building? Uh, tu uh, Tunison had like 160 Yeah, favorites. he didn't have ancestors now. anywhere. So like, no. what? The duck? <gasps> no, don't. No. Wait, no, don't, don't, don't do it to me again. Dare. <laughs> that has to be it. <laughs> Dude, come on. Pre keep, 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 keep clicking those buttons, Vodka. I click it. Click it. Sh I know. You vodka, I've seen your Steam profile. I know you've got 500,000 clicky clickers. You can click. Click, 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 click. There's no way. Is this the end of the game? 
this has to be a Tunison win. A hundred military pop. He did not quit with a hundred military. I mean, is a hundred military with the effective HP of about seventy five? The thing is, you. It, what I'm saying is, the game may be over, but there's no way he quit. You, you would at least fight it out. Like your your mental state wouldn't let you quit that. I don't think. I mean, if you thought that it was going to give a morale boost to Tunisun to win I, that fight, <laughs> you know? I see it's, it's mental warfare. Like I, this game I, is playing I, on you me right now. Don't act like you've never been that guy, your Desla. Like you're like, oh man, damn, this guy's about to beat me. Oh, F4. Ah, technically, I didn't lose anything. I keep my perfect win rate. Uh, so, confirmation coming in. I'm pretty sure that was a Tunis and win. There's no doubt on it, right? We're getting a game Damn. four. Apology, folks. Like, early days of a, a new game. Like, when Absolutely. old game is a new game. These things happen. To be fair, and I know you're from, like, age four and all that. I still think, even with stuff like this, age, age of mythology is probably, I said this before, maybe you'll disagree. I still think it's one of the best RTS releases of like recent memory like he's oh age four's cleanest. release was, it was bad right yeah the release was bad compared to this like this was a really really good release yes they got four under a good state now but its release was atrocious like this is probably the cleanest age of empires release they've had since they went moved to like games as a service right it's so, like yeah yeah mm -hmm. it is very clean but confirmation in, there you go so tunison won that game god we're Real teasing quick, aren't we, we? the guys are gonna be Real quick, before they pick them, quick. It's going to be uh, Hades versus Ruff. I think it's, <laughs> oh, I, oh, Obviously, oh. He, got, he got messaged before this. He, that, he, he, he didn't uh, guess that. He got... I just DM'd him. copious <laughs> hours in Age of Mythology, my friend. I'm going to be honest. Sure. I, th I really thought it was going to be... Um, uh, like I thought we might see Guy here, but I guess not. No, because because like the Ra just makes is a lot solider on this map because like yeah. you can play that safe two TC right. I'm only um, saying that because I think he feels more comfortable with Gaia because he's played a lot of Gaia. That's the only I, I, reason. Yeah, I, I know it's the Gaia, map advantage for sure. I, I think Gaia can play better than Ra on like Blue Lagoon, being a bit more open, and also the style he was executing with Kronos. Like, yes, guys are different Atlantean, but mm -hmm. I could see him taking that aggressive path. It's also Absolutely. if I had to choose between like Gaia or Ra to deal with Poseidon on an open map. Gaia hunkers a bit better, right? So I, I think mm. it makes sense. He's got to get there, though. He has to win this one to get to that. This next game. I mean, he might. We just might not know. <laughs> 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 like, okay, you don't want to really, really get under people's like skin. <sighs> like when, when we reach the point where it's like, uh oh, how'd the game end? You just need to hear what sounds like a bunch of dice being rattled in a cup. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. We're gonna we're, we're gonna turn we're gonna turn this into a D and D <laughs> role play <laughs> experience to discover who's gonna win this series. Reminder, loaded. isn't there like two? There's, there's this three other series after this. I'm wondering if we're gonna actually have time for them all. Well, this I mean, can we actually? I don't know if we can see the bracket really quick. We got a minute. I just want to see yeah. like if the series have been updated or anything, or like what's going on there. Let's, let's have a look. Yeah, have we got any progress? So okay, so Rap will actually be uh wow. Matador free one in the end. Okay. I like the panic update right at the end there to get the Lucy Stunis one update. They wouldn't expect <laughs> us to come through that quickly. So winner of that will face off against Rapple in the quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. Uh elsewhere. Are we still gonna get to watch uh Mr. versus Kvothe? I think so. So I think Mr. Okay. and Kvothe is being held back. Typically, like usually those series are held back, so it's it's played I'm out live. for that. It's going to be a long bloody day, though. I'm wondering, uh, we'll confirm as time goes on. If this turns into like five games, five games, five games, it might be three series cast today mm -hmm. instead of four. Uh, but we will see because the goal here, of course, is to cast two of these upper brackets and then two of the loser brackets. Yep. Do you call it loser brackets or lower brackets? Wait, Grass gets to play Vortex again. I just, re I did, my brain's just computing. <laughs> oh, Dude, yeah. Oh, wow. He's getting a third chance at Vortex. <laughs> It's got to work eventually, oh, right? Man. He's got to get him eventually. He's got to. I, I don't think Grass's playstyle works very well against Vortex. You think that's what it is? Well, Grass, Grass is really ag aggressive. He's so yeah, aggressive. and that's a problem because Vortex wants aggression because he's aggression, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, if someone is a, a master athlete in like climbing and you have the opportunity to take them on in like climbing or chess or mm -hmm. football, you're going to take them on in climbing, right? Like... <laughs> I mean, you can ego chal, right? Like we've all been that. We've all played like, like I'm sure there's some people like Counter Strike. We've all been that guy who hurt, he has like an AWP, the sniper rifle that one hit kills, mm. go off, and we still peak, but we do regret it five seconds yeah. later, right? So 
Oh, I do yeah. think that's been a tough issue for him is that Vortex is really good at five, 10 minute game executions. There's even been some theories thrown out that maybe Lucifron has been secretly playing Age of Mythology, getting his brother ready. I, I, I don't know if it has happened, but like he's clearly be been fair, practicing with someone. I, I've been watching, I've, I've been casting these since like the beta, right? Yeah. Um, Vortex just kind of like, he grasped this game so yeah. quickly. I, he didn't play, I don't think he really played the original, right? Uh, no. From what I, what I was told, yeah, he, he grasped this game so quickly and is so efficient and it's terrifying because he's so good already i can only imagine if he sticks to it for months he, that's that's terrifying for but that's like where a, they're so good is like they're, they're, they're like a, a brain trust right because they they scrim and they run through the first five ten minutes so mm. frequently that's how they went in and dominated zero space that's how they went in and dominated stormgate mm. that's how they came in and, and vortex i mean not full dominance but damn well impressive in age of yeah. mythology like this is this has always been their thing. So this year alone, they've been competing in four different RTSs at the yeah. highest level, right? Because they were still doing Age of Empires four the whole time. Funnily enough, Vortex is now actually playing AoE four as well as Age of Mythology. Yep. Uh, he was streaming it just the other day with the title. I think it was El Tredor, which I don't know much Spanish, but I can kind of guess what that means. <laughs> he, <laughs> he done a bit of a, a beef video saying why he was quitting AoE four and then mm. is back playing it. So the traitor has returned, um, yeah. but. Yeah, it's, it's there, there's a really lies. good thing about it though there's a really good thing because a lot of players and a lot of people like from other games like age two whatever age four they were concerned that um because of you know age mythology we're told is still kind of pretty similar to age, the original age that if you unless you were a pro at the original age or at that time you would not be able to compete at the top level of age of mythology we're told and that's obviously not true right if you if you're you're good at the game you want to put in the effort I mean, vortex is the perfect example of that's just not true that you can do it right and he's playing so yeah. good no i agree it's i mean it's a talent they have right like some people are just built that way we all have that friend that picks up a game and they're really good at it right straight away but over time they end up being worse than the guy who grinds it out that's that's the kind mm -hmm. of thing that i found with vortex lose from their generalist rts skills you know what it is think of shroud right shroud yeah. can pick up any shooter and he will just look like a god day one it's just that's, that guy yeah, and Vortex and Lucifron <laughs> are just those guys. It's almost frustrating, but they they have these generally uh, generally applicable skills across the board that work out so well. They just know? have really good mechanics just across the board when it comes to you know, controlling things and understanding the game and understanding what's good, what's not, just by looking at you know, oh certain yeah, things. So and, and like these so skills good. transfer, like pro skills can transfer Absolutely. in all kinds of ways. Like we've I've been watching Dumu, like he's actually pretty decent at Deadlock. I'm, I'm impressed, right? Um, but. You know, the more obvious one was Age of Empires 4 came out and a guy called Nevix started playing it. And Nevix, mm -hmm. some people might know that name from Overwatch. He was actually a DPS, then he was a tank for a pro team. He owned like $300,000 playing competitively. And then he went to Age of Empires 4. He was getting decent performances in tournaments. He had free accounts in the top 50. And then he goes and becomes a pro in Marvel Rivals, right? So like... Yep. We have that from Marine Lord as well in our scene where he, he uh, had a, an arc as an Overwatch pro. Right, a guy who's been playing StarCraft, Age of Empires two, Age of Empires four. So, th there is something to be said about um, the pro mentality and kind of a, a skill set that goes beyond just the games that allows these players to convert even outside of just specific genres. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like you said, pro skills just translate. It doesn't matter if you're if you're good at if you're really good at one RTS. A lot of the times, if you're not just one, if you're not just good because you grinded it, you're just good mechanically you're good at your your understanding is good it just it just works in every game that you play I mean, obviously enjoying the game is important too because it makes you want to learn the game want to get better that's important too i think yeah. um but it, it's it's a mentality thing right like most people just exactly. want to win and it's like that's not how pros think i always say the best players in games are the biggest losers right? yeah because you have to lose to learn right you, you have to be willing to lose to find your the style you want to play and to find new ways to win right you have to be yeah. willing to think outside the box like these players don't look and go, oh wow, oh I I've got like eighteen hundred elo, right? Like some people chase <laughs> that number like it really matters. Like oh I've got the bigger EP. No, for them they're like okay, whatever. I'm gonna burn hundred elo trying this new strategy. Yeah, it's exactly. a different mentality. Um, so I think we're just figuring out what we're gonna be doing now, guys, because we might have had yep. a bit of a hiccup. We won the replay, so we should hopefully be able to get that underway so that we can hop into mm -hmm. another game. Uh, I think I got confirmation that apparently the first round of the lower bracket is actually going to be best of three. So we might still be in a position to cast four series today. I mean, in a way, we kind of slipped into that other series and cast game number two. So we mm -hmm. kind of cast 
two series already. But oh. it's time to cast more. We're ready to go underway. The next game is ready. Let's hop in, see if we can get ourselves a reverse sweep <laughs> because we're jumping in for game number four here. Alfheim in the blue, Tunison on Ra. And in the upper left, in the red, it's Elysees playing as Hades. I mean, a name like that, the Greeks coming out. This is where he's probably going to be the most potent. We talked about this, that he really gunned for them. He got all three of the Greeks in the draft. But yep. this is a, an interesting turn of events. Ra usually is liked on Alfheim, similar to Freya, because it's a more defensive sieve, and the mountains favor that. Hades oh, yeah. is a bit more hybridized. Look at the map spawn. This is not Wait. a defensive Alfheim spawn. Wait, why are all the mountains on the outside? Yeah, yeah. Why, why have we... <laughs> that, did Moses come... Like, did the is, mountain version of Moses come through here and part the mountains? Just parted the middle. <laughs> it's a death valley. This is scary, I don't think actually. I've ever seen this actual version of this map. This is weird. No, I've seen some hybridized versions where you only get, like, maybe one cliff yeah, in the center and there's nothing on the sides, weird. but... <laughs> this is a different map. Can we, we reroll? Yeah, I don't even know what this is. <laughs> I mean, even the <laughs> settlement placements feel uncomfortable. Wait, actually, it's not too bad. So Ra has got the corner gold on the south mm. settlement, which isn't too bad. But look at the jackpot for Hades by comparison on the second settlement. He has three gold veins oh, all in yeah. different directions. And you know, it, it, when you see that Hades was 100% building a second TC, like, quick, that's just going to be so juicy. Yeah, especially if you get that. What? <laughs> you just um, throw your sentinels down on the second TC and you're good. Do you see that? He got the, the one that gives you uh, less cost on your town centers, right? Rain souls have more hit points too. That's going to be so good. Trickle food. Okay, so can we double check that Ulysses' dad doesn't work at Microsoft? Because yeah. this is... <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. This is an insane spawn. Now, okay, let me ask you. Do you think we're going to see a second age push out of Ra? Or are we going to see an eco Ra this game against Hades? I, it's, it's hard to... I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, it's, it's hard to push against Hades. It's very hard to push to Hades yes. early. And you have to eco, because like, what's your big edge on a, a one settlement all-in as Ra, right? You're going to be playing around the bullets, but yeah. what, what's the value there? Like, I, I can understand against maybe Zeus, who's going to go maybe into Minotaurs, but against Hades? That's just going to be mass toxic. Tox out, Paltus, yeah. and that's... <laughs> Guns closed, right? Oh. So, I mean, it sounds like we're being very defeatist, but I think that, you know, this, this, you know, this, this is the, the narrative is it, part. Exactly. Where you justify it's like, we were, wrong we're weaving... Oh, oh, oh. We're yeah. weaving an epic comeback. In this yeah, series. We're, we're, we're theory crafting here for the for Tunison. Mm. If he goes two settlements, though, I am kind of still worried because I think what I'd like to see out of Elise's honestly is not to go straight into uh, two archeries or whatever. I think I want to see like a stable barracks. You know, just to start building certain because you know what you know he's going to end up on just just pure oh, yeah. archer spam, but. Uh, what you want to do is like in the other age games, you, you, even though that's your best thing, you want to throw out some other stuff first, make your opponent deal with other things. They can't just start building exactly what they need to counter your best stuff, right? So you can start throwing out some other units and whatnot, make your opponent, you know, throw them off a little bit. Then you transition into that just OP death ball that Hades loves to have. Oh, he saw it. Yeah. He's, he's like, yeah. I know what you filthy <laughs> rock pickers want. And so do us <laughs> filthy Hades pickers. Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No rush, though. You know, we still got to gather the resources of the settlement, so I might as well beat the crap out of the obelisk. Yeah. Is, well, okay, who, who's your favorite hero in the game? I like Achilles, but he's pretty quick. He's cool. So you went. Uh, actually, no. Atalanta's pretty. Atalanta's okay, so pretty you good. went strategic options. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought I didn't realize I, no, no, what we were that's doing fine. here. No, I, that, no, you, you could have done either. <laughs> uh, they can tell so much about you as a person. I was just going to go sorry. straight up Ajax, man. <laughs> I didn't realize we weren't thinking strategically. I, okay, this no, is like, no, we, no. We, we do like it for the, the love of the narrative. I like to ask people, what, what is, what do you think the best movie is? But what's your favorite movie? Mm. And they can't be the same answer. <laughs> Otherwise, you're biased. No, no, both are just Ajax. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he gets enough points for his campaign performance that I don't care about anything else here. So he does know this settlement's coming. This is still a brutal situation. He definitely did. Wait, did he drop the? He no, he didn't. He got that, it. Okay, he did get it in time. I was a little bit for a second there, I thought he didn't drop it. That would have been a bit awkward. So he did get the That's cheaper settlement. Dude, you know his toxins are gonna be even better. This is terrifying. Can we can we maybe <sighs> find an up vodka? Can you find me an upside for Tunison in this game? <laughs> really <laughs> It's your job at this point, to be honest, mate. I'll oh, tell you I'll tell, the upside. Blessings his upon base everything. Looks really, yeah, his base yeah. looks really pretty right now. You can't beat that. Mm 
It looks very godly. I, I, I feel like I am on Olympus, actually. Is he pushing to the easy. forward second TC? I mean, Is he going to try to... I, I don't think he'll be doing that. <laughs> the priest I, has been found. I don't think he'll be doing that, mate. I don't think so at all. <laughs> Oh, I think that'll no. be Alphiza son if you try. I mean, he's going to dive in now. The Wajits at least have good. Where's the Minotaur? And you actually kind of need that to defend your whole little second TC Hades thing that he was going to do. So losing that right away is kind of unfortunate. All right. Usually, I would agree. But <laughs> I have a button as Hades. Oh, uh, do you? It, it might as well. There we There's the button. <laughs> <laughs> the you shall not pass button. I do like it. I feel like it's more that the Sentinel's default position should be them Look just how insanely fingering you. close that gold is to that TC. That is so disgusting. I mean, it's protected by two Sentinels, right? Like... And it's against the back wall. You're not You're not <laughs> hitting <laughs> that. Dude, right. Alesis is probably watching Netflix while he's playing this game now. Yeah, because Tunison's about to be bravo shit <laughs> going dark. He can't see a thing. It is going to be the Ford Settlement coming out. So I like this. You can turn this into a proxy base. You're going to have to attack. You, you can't idle out here. <laughs> It's just, oh no. He does have a bloody big army. Yeah? Well, I mean, okay, look, okay, 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 before you say it, it looks that way because of the bar. It's just that <laughs> at least he says two pop, okay? It's the 26 is not exactly a lot. That's not even going to get through the Sentinels, let's be honest. So what you're saying is we should oh. attack the main. Uh, yeah, you know, just, just send it. You not, not only attack it, let's shifting sands on top of it. What are we talking about here? It's what we've been asking for all series. <laughs> it's what we need. Oh, man. are going to be coming up. You cannot, uh, the, the, I love the, the positive fork oh, It's like, I will go. be able to block the next gold. The, yeah. No, yeah that's the, no, that's the thing. That's not the next gold. The next gold's up top. Yeah, this is another one. But I will also block that one. <laughs> ah, he does, he does admittedly have two golds, but <laughs> hear me out. Oh, no. The problem is we're going to get Toxitae now. We have to get oh, Toxitae. Yeah. But look, he did build the bear. I did. I do like this. He built the barracks, so he's not. He didn't just put up two uh, archery ranges, which is yeah. which is a smart thing. You don't want to just put up because you know your opponent knows that's what you want, so they're going to be ready for that. Uh, he's does he have how many heroes does he have out? Just the one. Uh, I think he only won the one. You're gonna need two. <laughs> the uh, Haktuas are gonna have a few problem. <laughs> there you go. You're getting on board with it now. <laughs> I'm on board. I've been on board. They see a big Ajax and they just spit all over that fang. <laughs> Oh, he has... I, no, he's got Achilles. Okay, this is a jackpot then. Dude, Achilles is like the worst thing to have to run Wedgets into, actually. Now that I think he's about so it. quick, too. You just... Ugh. That's why I like, I like Achilles so much. Achilles and Ajax, obviously. Or not Ajax. Um, sorry. Not, sorry for you, Ajax. But uh, oh, Atalanta. <laughs> yeah, you, you like your speedy boys. You get yeah. they're, they're, they're so useful. They're so yes. good. Well, mobility is king, right? Like, people always put these stats like, I love this unit because it has the most damage, most health. Like, nah, I do speed. Speed is the most valuable. Being able to run through stat. and hit these myth units, it's so good here. Mm -hmm. So, we have got a lot of the wadgets building up. In the meantime, it's actually going to be additional hopate added in. Yeah. I, I guess it makes sense. Like, there's no rush to come out. You're just in vibe mode. I, I And I'm going to sound crazy for this, but hear me out. There's not since the last. What if we just went free TC, raw? I mean, Hades isn't moving out for a while, so you could. Right. Hades isn't going anywhere. But if you wait too long, you can't. Uh, if you wait two more <laughs> minutes to do that, it's going to be yeah. too late. By the way, Hades also got the upgrade for his watch time. He's not going anywhere, man. <laughs> he's oh, not going anywhere. We also, yeah, we have Erebus. I mean, because yeah, apparently having all this gold isn't enough. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unlimited gold. Okay, I mean, what order would they be initiating? Initiate order 60 TC. <laughs> initiate order a second TC with Sentinels. I think it's just initiate order Toxite eventually. And when we're done with the Spirit Boys, this or is a. Ambitious yeah, no, he was choice. just trying. No, no, no. He was just trying to snipe the priest real quick. Didn't yeah, this out. is like when the, when someone tells you you shouldn't do something and you want to see the ramifications. You know? mm hmm. Like you shouldn't stick yes. that that fork in the plug, right? Well, why not? Let, let me find out myself. You know, H3 in the way will, though. Make it a shocking surprise. Hmm. So H3. I... What's he do on H3? Honestly, what we're gonna see is a stronghold right up there on top of the TC. Ooh. That's what we're gonna see. That's not, pretty cool. Like, you're not yeah. getting this gold. That's what's gonna happen. I wonder if that was always intended here. Actually, with this play. Maybe. Kind of feels like it. However, you know. Your opponent could always lean to the west side instead, so I like that we still got control on that side. I mean, at least he really wants. To, I mean, those upper golds are so good; they're so close to the TC. But again, 
like you said, that you know that proxy TC from Tunison and all that. This could be setting up for just offense up there. And there it is. So Migdal plus you could strong. Does it cover the gold? Probably, oh, probably reaches the one uh, side. It's like it. edging. You yeah. can always bring out just units to poke. <laughs> Inch by inch, we get in, you know. <laughs> inch by inch. That's yeah, right. you, the, the goal is you want to do what I call the Migdal line. It's a line so strong, not even Charlie Sheen could snort it, right? It's just one after the other after the other until you're in. That's right. And that would also get you to the additional goal, so it worked quite well. I, I, I'm going to be honest, I do wish that stronghold was a little bit further up, but it's, it is. Maybe he'll build another one. Maybe he'll... You know what I'm starting to realize about these guys? Like, some of the players, it's been like, oh my god, we, we are like immediately in on the action. It's crazy. These guys are very strategic, methodical. Like, you can see that they're hesitating or they don't think it's the right moment. It's not mm. as proby as we've seen from a lot of players in Genesis so far. By the way, a thing a lot of people don't actually know, or I didn't know for a while, I know a lot of people didn't, even some of the better players. Um, the myth units, they actually, like the age two ones, whatever, uh, age three, when you go up in age, your old myth units get better. They get stronger yeah. overall. And that's the yeah, complete, yeah. I don't think the original, the original age didn't have that. So like, it's a huge new thing. And I like that a lot. It means that you don't have to build like the, the myth unit that you got from your next age. You can continue to build, you know, the ones from previous ages and they're still viable later on in the game. So they're completely useless. I like that a lot. You know what I want to see here? I want to see like five scarabs teleported on top of that base. <laughs> That's what uh, no, no, that's what we need to see. That's what I want to see. And then they just explode. Why is he pre-queuing that? Right? Is he going for it? Really? Uh he's saving up. Wait, which one is he going for? Is this son of Mythic. a Horus? Oh, a her Horus. Uh, oh no, okay. Uh oh. um I mean Horus can I think that's what he needs. Like a little bit of zip zap in this situation. I, I think he, okay, I, mean, I think I want I want to see one more stronghold up there. From Tunison, like left hand side, or maybe another one, Bunny Hop. I don't care. I think one more stronghold just so that he doesn't die here on the because Greek heroic I, age, Greeks can fight in the heroic against Mythic, they actually can for a while. So I'm kind of bewildered because, like, the more I think about this, I don't know if Horus is the way, right? Osiris feels a lot better because you get the son of Osiris. Osiris. The son of Osiris is my favorite unit of the game, so I love thing that in age of mythology. It's incredible, but like, but, it's, the, it's the one two combo as well because it complements itself as the mummies. Like, your opponent I, has built mass hopate. Yeah, I think the reason he's doing this as well, another thing, um, the way this, the way he's got him pushed up against the back here, uh, you know, a tornado and all this, the AoE and stuff, it's going to be really, really strong if it gets a really, really lucky one. Let's see if it pays off. That's yeah. a lot of watch jets. <laughs> That's a lot of watch jets. I like it though. I'm not gonna lie. Because the thing, I, especially when, the, when this game released too, nobody built those. I mean, they, they would yeah. go up the age, but they would have the one they <laughs> I got. I remember. But yep. they would, it would die, and then you'd never see him again. They'd send it out on its own. It's like, yeah, maybe. It gets yeah, they just get rid of it. Just, maybe, maybe they'll kill a villager. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, like, gets, like, my little white jet graduates from uh, the temple. He's like, I'm gonna be great for this king. Like, whatever, pal. You got this. He won't even be able to spell his own name. <laughs> Oh man, maybe he will jump on the TC. But here's the thing: at least he does have 90, 90 pop. I mean, he's he's doing okay militarily himself. Seventy-one villagers. It looks like oh, oh no! Oh, the timing. Luckily, Citizen reacts. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would like. Boys. I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce. I was like, please do not use the shifting <laughs> sands for this. <laughs> this is like you know when um, you know when someone runs over, they get shot a little hammer. They really want to break the fire alert, and the guy's like, "Don't, <laughs> don't, don't do, do it." it. Don't do it. <laughs> Just like a little Professor Oak comes out of nowhere, says, "This is not the time to use wow. this curse, though." And the oh, shifting sand. The chicken. Oh, we left God. one behind. Well, <laughs> Johnny got left behind there. The, wait, the <laughs> villages as well. Oh no! Oh no! I mean. It is actually games, substantial. Games, it does matter, these losses, though. Look at the eco stage. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I think that Tunis has got to like, put something together really quick and just kind of push. He'll do something, right? I mean, he's got Nemean Lions. Nemean Lions are really good at stagnating oh, the, good. these imp timings, right? Or, sorry, age four timings. Too much every four this week. So, you know, especially when you consider he's playing mass melee. Those, uh, is that double stronghold? Uh, I think building? we've only got... No, no. Actually, yeah. Oh, siege, siege, works, siege, works. siege Yeah, so he's going for it. No strongholds. He's just going for it. I like it. Army's out of position. It's going to take a bit of time. He might have to sacrifice. Awkward time to decide to fertilize all the fields here because yeah. the Greek player has actually set up farms. <laughs> yep. Oops. He's like, don't mind there if I do. Go. That's going to get me to age four quicker. Oh Another my sentinel, God, another double sentinel, sentinel cards. <laughs> Let's go. The blockers as well. It's slowing him down. So it's buying time for the army to yep. get in position here. 
just remember, to remember the, there, there's a tornado. There's a tornado in his pocket. And, oh! What was the tornado? Oh, no, 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 come back, come way. back, It went back, the no. other way. It's not going to get anything. Oh. You know how he said the series is us gonna, is going to be like writing a D and D experience? Yeah, he just done a, a crit fail that right there. That did nothing. It did nothing. Well, that's not true. It did accelerate uh, the deforestation okay. of the world. Okay. But that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's about it. Oh no! That wasn't as but much that, a that tornado was a as it was, was a strong guard. It's gone. I mean, guess, guess who's going to mythic? Hmm, I, I'm going to guess Ulysses. <laughs> you might be right. He's not even being pressured right now. This is brutal. Tunison, he needs a lot more damage. Yes, get rid of the production is a good start, but he needs to dive deep and he needs to do so fast. Frontline, oh, yeah. somewhat limited Tornado here. Tornado chicken, look at it go. Th that was more impactful <laughs> than the age four power. It was. <laughs> I think Tornado he killed more chicken. units with that. The chickens are OP. <laughs> Hippias is now overflowing. Oh, Restoration is going to get popped here. That's no. going to force the retreat. If the Nemean line's getting range for the stun, though, it could all be curtains closed. Delaying doesn't hurt him, though. Ulysses. He's caught up in pop. I mean, he's so close. He's 20 seconds away. Way, and then it's his how turn. Did Tunison, oh, Tunison did get a third TC in the bottom. He's okay, getting it now. Wait, now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay, <laughs> he needed I'll, this about okay, five look, minutes ago. Me, I can only see in the mini map, all right? I'm just assuming. But how many oh, I'm sorry. I can only then? see everything on the map. But I can't tell if it's built or not. But seriously, how, how did he catch up in Vils? Wasn't he down by like 15? Uh, because he stopped understand. producing, right? I don't think Ulysses oh. like cared anymore. He was happy in 78, yeah. but here we go. Earthquake's going to be used on the forward base. <laughs> and that is going to sting. Cool. Production down. Farm Absolutely in cool. trouble. Better build a new one. Wait, why did he never stronghold that? I don't know. Oh, you great. He could have. Yeah, he didn't use the Citadel. I'm a little bit Citadel shocked. Because I think Citadel lets you survive that. And Citadel would have been huge here. And now the timing is off trying to rebuild this. Um, he's going to start he's diving in. in. There's the Chimera. It does waste its first shot on a single villager, so kind of ideal there. Let's even get some follow-up oh, here. Nemean Ryan Laws are coming out. Really good damage, though. Wait, this one for the side. This rule can be big. Hits them all. That's so good. Oh, in the back. I think the Chimera is coming off cooldown. I mean, it doesn't even matter. The army's going to evaporate before he even uh, gets a chance to burn it all. Look at least be back. He killed two wide jet, oh, one wide jet left, and he's going to finish that one too. And it turns That's out it. the Chimera That's is better it. than wide jet as well. Suck well, on that one. The <laughs> Chimera is disgusting. Burnt it to a crisp. This Fried is over. Egg, I guess. Ulysses doesn't need a fifth game. He doesn't need to no. go there. Tunison just couldn't find that killing wow. blow. <laughs> he had the killing blow and he missed. The tornado missed. Uh, it completely missed. I mean, Tunison, you know, he's he's kind of halfway to spelling tornado, but he's definitely not the tornado whisperer in this one. He is going to have to. Let me let me, let me, let me try bracket. to look at this from the other thing. Maybe he was trying, like you said, to deforest to stop him from getting wood later on. That's what the tornado was for. I think it was just uh, it was just an awareness campaign, you know, guys. <laughs> the Amazonian forests are in trouble. Look. <laughs> oh no. Brutal game, brutal series, but means that Tunison is going to have to uh, try and survive in the lower bracket best of yep. three. Ulysses, on the other hand, has a date with Rappel, I believe, next weekend.